Moses. Moses. Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I have come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, and a large unto land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is to come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression whereat the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mightest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. I am that I am. Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together, and say unto them, the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appear to me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which you was done in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt, unto the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, unto a land flowing with milk, and honey, and they shall hearken to thy voice, and thou shalt come, thou and the elders of Israel, unto the king of Egypt, and ye shall say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath met with us, now let us go. We beseech thee, three days journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. And I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go, no, not by a mighty hand. And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. After that, he will let you go. And I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And I shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor. And I have the sword in her house, jewels of silver, jewels of gold, and raiment. And ye shall put them upon your sons, upon your daughters, and ye shall spoil the Egyptians. What is in thy hand? Cast it on the ground. Put forth thy hand. Take it by the tail. They may believe that the Lord of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, had appeared upon thee. Put now thy hand into thy bosom. Put thy hand in thy bosom again. again. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, either hearken to the voice of the first sight, that they will believe the voice of the latter sight. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, pour it upon the dry land. And the, and the water, water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood of the non dry land. Who hath Who made man's man? mouth? Who hath naked the dumb, or the deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have I not the Lord? Now go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say.
is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when it seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth. And I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. And he shall be thy spokesperson upon the people. And he shall be, even though he shall be to thee instead of a mouth. And thou shalt be to him instead of God. And thou shalt take this rock in thy hand, where thou shalt do signs. When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I put in thine hand. For I will harden his heart, and he shall not let the people go. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn.